I didn't know you rode bikes. I didn't know you rode bikes. Let's go butts up and fast. Oh, no. Patch of sand. Oh, oh my God. Are you all right? I'm fine. Let's just keep riding bikes. Are you sure? That was a wicked wipeout. I'm fine. Can we just keep riding bikes, please? Thanks for coming to dinner, Lois. I know you have mixed feelings about this. I was worried you'd say no. Actually, I was worried you'd say Beetlejuice three times. Because if you say Beetlejuice three times, then Beetlejuice... Yeah, oh, that was a close call. Oh, Carol, I would never miss any of your Meet the Fiancé dinners. This is the tenth one. Oh, Lois. Look, Carol, I'm just saying it's a big decision. Yeah, life is full of big decisions. Like deciding whether or not you're going to have time to masturbate. Peter, I'm going to run and pick up Stewie. I'll be back in five or ten minutes. Well, which is it? It's like I told you, Lois. This time, it's different. Adam is the most kind and attentive man I've ever known. Oh, that's interesting, because I remember you saying the same exact thing about Evan. Isn't that right, Evan? Yeah, yeah, I do remember her saying that about me. Evan? What are you doing here? I brought him. Oh, she didn't tell me you were bringing Evan here. We bonded over the Red Sox one time, and now he's got to bring it up every time I see him. How about those Red Sox, Peter? Yeah, how about them, Evan? They exist. How about last season, huh? Yeah. How about next season? We'll see. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hold you to that. Look, I see what you're trying to do, Lois. And then there was your second husband, Randall, who you called your soulmate. Oh, God, not that guy. He always comes bearing really inconvenient gifts. Hey, you guys. Peter, I brought you some saltwater tropical fish. Now, you gotta feed him every two hours, and I fed him an hour ago. Uh, all right, you got the food? No, I don't have the food. You get that at a tropical fish store. It's 9.30 at night. Well, you better get going. Son of a bitch. And then there was your third husband, Doggy Daddy, but you couldn't make it work, because he had that son from a previous marriage. Hey, you Carol. Oh, hey. Just want to let you know, Augie's all grown up now, out of the house. So, you know, anyway, I'm around. This is really insensitive of you, Lois. Do you have any idea how difficult it is for me to see my ex-husbands? That's my point, Carol. This is the kind of pain I'm trying to spare you from experiencing all over again. Why can't you just let me be happy with the man I love? Carol, if you marry him, you're just gonna get hurt again. Is that what you want? Well, no. Look at these men. Are you psychologically able to deal with this pain a tenth time? Oh, my God. Lois, you're right. Adam, I'm sorry. I can't marry you. What? B but, but Carol... I'm so sorry, Adam. <laughs> I think you sh should go now, Lois. I, I can't. My husband took the car. No, yeah, no, I know it's late. I just need some tropical fish food. Oh, come on, where the hell am I supposed to go? You're in there. Don't worry, fish. I'm gonna take care of you, because I know one day you'll do the same for me. I'm sorry, but your friend doesn't have insurance. I don't care what it costs. Just make this man well again. Thank you, fish. <laughs> 